Do by shit. Do by whips. Different place. Different chips. <laughs> ATL, this shit ludicrous. Oh well, I like who that is. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Crazy. Level. This is how you live. <laughs> just, Bro, this, just this environment alone. So what work, some work needs to get done ASAP. I didn't even get home like this like yesterday. <laughs> I don't know, I think I'm taking this over the balcony. Yeah. It's just beautiful. Yeah, just waking up, music in the ears, watching the sun come up. But yeah, Sunday, Mastermind starts tomorrow. A lot to prepare, a lot to plan for. In fact, we have our cocktail reception tonight at the address JBL, 77th floor, overlooking the whole of Dubai, the Palm. We've got Dan arriving soon. Dan's kind of my head of operations, right hand man. Just gonna chill today, get in the right frame of mind, relax, ready for five days of intensity. Yeah, I'm pumped. Good morning. Good morning. Oh. Did you not pack your sun cream? I thought oh. I was the ginger one. <laughs> morning, 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 morning. How are you? What's happening? You got it? Oh, good, man. Have we got a plan for what's happening? No work done, bro. <laughs> no work done. We're going to get it done, don't worry. 30 seconds. He's like, plan, what's the plan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the villa's cool, but I want to buy this. <laughs> there are a lot of rich people in this world. I'm just like, each one of these villas, I'm just thinking if you were raising capital, just throw them up around here. <laughs> we literally, we said that. <laughs> Mastermind group, we're gonna get them door knocking <laughs> down the that road. Wrong. Like, what's your appetite for investing in the UK? <laughs> you might have to go put a suit on. <laughs> ready? I'm ready, bro. I'm ready. You're looking clean, too, bro. Yeah, it's clean, looking clean. You're freshen up this. <laughs> First of all, thank you everyone for actually making the trip out. I think uh, all of you should obviously be very proud of the fact that you obviously made the decision to come. We'll both tell you there was a lot of people that should be here that yeah. just didn't maybe have the right mindset, right psychology, I don't know, but just couldn't be resourceful enough, couldn't make it happen, didn't want to make it happen. One of the reasons I want to host it in Dubai is you know, it's safe to say this is one of the most inspiring environments in the world. Um, looking out of this view, I mean, it definitely will take a second to take it in, but I think also bear in mind, everything you see was just once an idea in yeah, someone's true. head, which is the vision, which is in their imagination, and they decided this is what I want to do, I'm going to do it. And you can, I don't know who it was, but you can imagine them in that board meeting. Whoever said we want to build this massive palm, stick all these multi-million pound houses on it, probably had countless people tell him, can't be done, crazy. not worth it, it's not going to work, you're crazy, who's going to fund it? Okay, all of these problems, but he came up with solutions, he made it happen. A lot of people obsess over the, the how, but the first thing you will need to figure out is what do you want? But not a lot of people actually really know what they want. And again, coming in Dubai, before you came here, probably what you thought you want might have been that nice four bedroom, five bedroom detached house <laughs> on the new build estate down the road from you. End of this week, you might be like, actually, I need that villa on the park. <laughs> I can guarantee that. <laughs> so ex exposing your mind to like, kind of what's possible, forcing you to kind of think bigger. Um, that's why we're here. Congrats to you guys. Well, I think there's two tests on the calls that we had. One, the ability to make a decision. Yeah. <laughs> and two, be resourceful. And I can see all of you guys, you are here. So you guys pass the tests uh, with flying yeah. colors and that from that point of view. Spend the time with people and just get to know each other. And let's build a partnership and let's, let's have some fun about we learn as well. So, mm -hmm. yeah. cheers, cheers to that cheers one. To that. Cheers, cheers to that. that. Cheers. 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 Cheers.
Welcome, guys. In terms of what the, the next week is going to look like, like real estate is all about just access to finance. It's a finance game. You look at the biggest, best real estate companies in the world, they're finance businesses, they're not brick and mortar businesses. Um, so today's about structuring the money, tomorrow's about finding the money. Tuesday, we've got Mike, uh, Mike Thurston coming along. So fundamentally, what Alfred and I believe is you need a brand. The more people that know, like, and trust you, the more opportunities you're going to attract. Kylie Jenner isn't a billionaire because of her skills and knowledge and expertise, it's because she's got 200 million followers. Thursday, got a good friend of ours, Billy Harris, coming to do a talk on kind of health and peak performance. He's worked with some of the biggest online entrepreneurs in the world, like my friend Iman, um, guys that are doing anywhere from a million a month to $15 million a month in their online businesses. One of the common patterns I've observed, like spending time with people like Iman, Will is a good example. You know, these guys take their help seriously because they understand their superpower is focus. So the more focused they can be, the more output they can squeeze. Um, the more money they're going to make. And so, yeah, what we want to do a lot on Thursday is just figure out what information do we all have, what are the skill sets that we can productize, what knowledge can we productize, how can we sell it, what's the product, what's the offer. So leaving this trip, we've got kind of a clear game plan to add an additional revenue stream in the business because like, I spend a lot of time with developers. They're like the brokest rich people I've ever met because I've got so much money tied up in deals and then we're tied up in a deal for two years They'll do that deal, make a shit ton of profit, hopefully, and then, but they'll just roll that back into the next deal, the next deal, which is good because you're growing the balance sheet. But if you want to live a nice life, if you want to come and spend, you know, 25 grand on a holiday in Dubai, you need cash flow. <laughs> yeah, I think I think some people do like a bit of controversy. You yeah. can tell with the content which they're making, like James Smith. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like he, he's um, he's a master. He was a master at that. He would just <laughs> doesn't give a fuck, and yeah. he would just say something which would trigger people yeah. and that got people to start a conversation. Yes. People who had a different point of view would be like, oh, I can't believe you said that. Yeah. Or they would share it with their friends, they would reshare it and be like, oh, this guy's so wrong. But like that, that type of content just made them blow up. Yeah. Like these people who are the, the big influencers, like the, the hormones, the hormones is not the type of guy to go and reply to <laughs> Just mm -hmm. puts the content out there. Let everybody have the discussion. And then maybe if, there was a particular uh, point that people were talking about or arguing about, then maybe you can just use that as something else to use in another video. Like now, I would only comment back if I have something witty to say. Right, okay, all right, okay. Uh, diving right in, joined with Mike Thurston. I first met Mike, I don't know when it was. Then it was like, yeah. I caught up at this spot, walk around the corner, and I just see this massive long table with <laughs> Adrian and Mike and about 12 girls. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is how they do it. <laughs> That was good. I think everyone enjoyed it. Now to jump in an ice bath, shock the body, get comfortable being uncomfortable. <laughs> Exhale in three, two, one. Let it go. Out. In. Out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well, I didn't mind this thing. I was actually convinced myself I was just walking on the park. I thought that's what so many people say. Yeah, yeah. You just, make, you just imagine some baby. Yeah. And then that, that sensation just disappears. Yeah, that's just the sun. Yeah. So just wrapped up. Workout, today's a bit of an activity day. The last two days have been super intense. So today we decided for this afternoon, what better way to experience Dubai than get a couple supercars for the guys to enjoy. So this is what we've got. Everyone's gas, convoy out into the desert, five cars, what can go wrong?
the individuals that I work with typically are uh, online education businesses and entrepreneurs. These guys are doing seven, eight figures per year of their business. They're very, very successful. And I started working with uh, my first big client, which was Iman Gadzi. And uh, it became very obvious to me that these individuals were taking all components of their health very, very seriously to the extent where they're meditating for about an hour per day, tracking all components of their sleep, everything like this, right? And therefore, I started applying that and putting that together as a service. And uh, as a result, worked with Iman in person for three years. Obviously, worked with an individual like, do you guys know Bastian Slot? Have you guys heard of him? He's in the education space doing a million dollars per month for his business. He's 24, so it's not bad going. And uh, the margins on that are pretty good. It's about 800K per month profit, which is pretty decent. Uh, Dan Bass doing a million per month for his education business as well. Uh, Cole Gordon, big in the education space, doing two million a month. He's recently been acquired by acquisition.com, Alex Mosey's business. So I worked with his uh, CEO, Mitchell Miles, for about two years, and then Cole for about three to four months as well, which is a pretty cool experience. From the self-sabotaging perspective of things, all of us at some point have been guilty of the following on the list. Overeating, depriving ourselves of sleep, drinking stupid amounts of alcohol, vaping, devouring junk food, smoking. But uh, for example, individuals like Eman, Cole, etc., these guys are very, very disciplined with these components. If you guys haven't already, I'd encourage you all to invest in their Aura Ring or Whoop Band. So again, for context, all the individuals that I work with that have made the most money financially with their businesses, by far the most obsessed with these components, particularly sleep. Like an individual like Eman, Cole, etc., they're obsessed with this stuff and always have been, and that's been the foundation of their performance on a daily basis. I think sleep arguably is the most important component when it comes to improving cognitive function on a daily basis, which of course, you know, fuels your business success and is the foundation of. The variable responsible for cognitive function is REM sleep. And again, most male individuals that I work with have very low levels of REM sleep, so about 30 minutes to an hour per night as a result of the elevated awake time. And that metric alone is responsible for cognitive function. So really, really important and something most individuals neglect or haven't even heard of yet. Excuse my name. It's with the road. Good to see you. What's going on? How's things? Not much. Bro. Wow, for a second. I thought <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm doing this mastermind and then the following week launching one of my real estate businesses out of here. I mean, with real estate like this, like, so much. Real, the real estate. And they're so far behind on the, the real estate game here. Things. I'm just wondering what, if it will slow down, when it will slow down. Over the years, it's always been up and down, but long time. Yeah, but I mean, if you compare Dubai to everywhere else in the world. Okay, like sure. Like compared to the UK property market and what's happened there in the last 12 yeah, months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black badge? No, just a paint job. They don't. They don't do black badge on the Phantom. The big daddy, bro. Yeah, they're it's fucking expensive here, bro. Eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Really? Well, I mean, in UK, there's still like a equivalent of seven hundred thousand. Beautiful to drive, right? The meat mill is different. This is the big daddy, bro. Phantom's just fucking long, bro. It's a long car. I don't. I don't know. Supercar wise, I probably wouldn't get a supercar. Oh, bro, that I hate. None of it really matters until you've got the right mindset. And if you're just committed to being resourceful, finding the people that can help you, whether that's team, mentors, staff, business partners, and you're just prepared to play the long game and do whatever it takes, you'll, one way or another, by, like, by sheer force alone, you'll get the desired result. And that's what I say to a lot of people. Like, those that want to win will find a way to win. Get, get around better conversations. And that's the problem. It's exactly why we wanted to do it in Dubai, where you can meet these people, have these experiences, and we can pull by the curtain and say, guys, it's a big game to be playing. You guys have got a lot of this um, it's been an amazing week i think experiences the knowledge the, the bond you guys have created more upon you which i think is amazing that like, you guys have all connected and like and now like a good friendship circle and i feel like the next four months you guys need to take from here and just stay close to each other hold each other accountable you guys know what each goals the each of each other's goals are yeah i want you guys to kind of stay close to each other and just pull each other forward and get to where you want to get to as well alfin and i have learned so much as well being in the room with you guys, throwing ideas back and forth. You know, we're all here to push each other, get uncomfortable, grow. Hopefully spending time out here as well in Dubai has kind of reminded you that there's always a bigger game to be playing. Yeah. Yeah. It's right down the way we go. It's